cheerful, isn't it? Let's try something more cheerful. That's better. These are made by Acme for orchestras, orchestral three-tone whistles. But here are some of the other whistles which I've bought over the many years for children, really, to play with rather than orchestras. And all of them have some sort of action or bit of fun with them. This one, for instance, one of a series made by German company Faber in the 1980s, whistles, but... <whistles> the action is to make those little race cars move. Without the whistle, it goes very fast. And you then got to decide which one is the winner. And every one of these has the same type of impeller underneath, and when you blow hard, they'll perform. This one's a charming little hurdy-gurdy for the fairground. That's complicated because they're going different ways, these ones. So lots of little bit of play. This will make a different sound and this will cut out the whistle noise. And Children can be inventive with these ones because there's plenty of things going on. That's different. There's no whistle there, just one of the little... Sirens. This one's a siren as well, I think. It's caught. It's supposed to be a fire engine, I think, trying to rush to a fire. And here's someone on the top trying to escape the fire. Yes, well, the fire engine's crashed into the house, I think. <laughs> this is a bit cleverer because they've got an excellent sound effect for this one. It's a, it's a swanny whistle. But in addition to that, it's got... It's got a warping effect. Because a tiny little plastic here makes the bird's beak open and close, but down here, it's making a tiny little diaphragm going up and down in front of the sharp edge to the whistle. And the effect is... It has a lovely kind of vibrato effect. Well, there we are. Here's another design altogether, and it's a little spaceship. And when you blow this, again, there's several things you can do with it. And you can push these and stop the pilots from moving. And I've got a softener there by putting my finger over the bottom hole. the children can imagine themselves into the space age while they're giving their exercises to their lungs. Back to the first design, the German one, which has a little train set. <whistles> Going through the mountain. Isn't that cute? Hmm, <whistles> an extra sound there too. Here's a nice idea. It's the old little bit of loop of A loop of wool carried up by the air current, and then it goes... <whistles> ..quite high. Simpler animation would be a steamboat, and as you're whistling, it makes the paddles turn round. <whistles> I think it ought to make the mournful sound of that first whistle I showed. And then a cock crowing, and his again, it's a little animation in the middle of the body. A neat little aeroplane here, I like this, because the propellers are being impelled by little air currents that are being directed onto their blades. <whistles> That's nice too, the jet noise, isn't it? <whistles> Very odd idea here. People can make whistles with their hands, etc, etc, but I can't do that. I've that won't whistle, but this finger here will... <whistles> yes, it whistles. It's a joke finger, of course. And a friend of mine, Mark Setter Descartes, invented it all those years ago. <whistles> I found the right, the right finger that whistles. 
Then there's a extraordinary little one here, which is a sweet. Put in your, in your mouth. Quite nice, but then... <laughs> to do that, you must have a small cavity in the middle of the street. It's uh, sweet, otherwise it won't actually create the effect. Something similar to this one here, which again will... <laughs> fit onto a balloon and make a whistling sound. And then these ones here are made by Palumbo in Italy, and they all have little cute actions, but they're meant to be attached to balloons. For instance, this one makes a lovely duck squawk. <laughs> Very loud. This one's a siren. <laughs> this one is a duck call, but it shows the actual mechanism in the front there. So you put it into your mouth and you go... <laughs> Very loud. And a two tone. And going back to the beginning, the Acme Siren also had a duck call. But in addition to that, if you add a little slider, you'll get slightly different tones. Hmm. And the last one to show is something that the Japanese have added to their list of folk toys. It's a whistle which you don't blow when you can blow across the edge there, but what you're supposed to do is twirl it in the air and then you get a lovely, quite chaotic bird sound. <whistles> very nice, a very realistic action, very realistic sound. So there's a lot of whistles out there and I'm still collecting them and still finding new ones. We'll see what this year produces. Whistles.